Why are day octopus so good at hiding? Hey guys, it's Brandon, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. Today we will travel all the way to Maui, Hawaii, to discover the day octopus, or Hei. Are you ready? Let's dive in. The day octopus, or the Cayenne's octopus, is found among coral reefs in the Indo-Pacific. These animals have a scattered distribution from Hawaii all the way to East Africa. I couldn't find a map showing their range, so just picture a band roughly 10 degrees above and below the equator, starting in East Africa, going into the Indian Ocean, along the northern and eastern coasts of Australia, ending in Hawaii. These octopus prefer water that is warm and perfect for creating coral reefs. I saw this octopus in the Maui Ocean Center, and will be focusing on Hawaiian octopus. The day octopus, or hee, the day octopus, or hee, in Hawaiian, is active during the day. Most octopus are active during the night. This octopus lives for roughly 18 months and is relatively small. I am used to seeing giant Pacific octopus at home and often forget that I am seeing the largest of all the octopuses. When I see a regular size octopus, they seem small to me. The mantle can reach lengths of 16 centimeters with 80 centimeter arms. This is basically 31 inches of arms and a 6 inch mantle. These octopus still have 8 arms, 3 2 tapered hearts, and 9 brains. One for each arm and a central brain. The way we can identify it is by its physical features. One is size, but other is color and patterns. However, this octopus is a master of camouflage. Since it is active during the day, it needs to be able to change its shape, color, and texture. Typically, they are light brown with dark false eyes. They have dark brown tips on their arms with two rows of light spots on the base of the arms. The false eye spot is only visible with certain colors and patterns. So it is hard to describe and identify because it is constantly changing its appearance to match the surrounding substrate. They live in caves or crevices in the coral. Another way to identify the day octopus is by its den. They leave shells and remains from food just outside the entrance of their den known as midden. Let's discover what the day octopus eats. They are predators and feed on reef fish, crabs, shrimp, squid, and sometimes other octopuses. The only hard part of the octopus is its sharp beak that can crush shells and tear the prey apart. The day octopus is listed as not threatened in the IUCN red list. Even though there are small local fisheries for the octopus, they are still doing fine. Let's get into my personal encounter with this octopus. I walked up to the exhibit to see what I could see. It turns out that this octopus was sitting near the top of the tank. He was relaxed in his natural colors. Apparently I spooked it, because it changed to a dark brown, almost red color, then swam away to the back of the tank. It took some convincing and patience to get it back out. It did tiny micro transitions in color, almost as a form of communication. Since I couldn't spend all day watching one animal, I had to move on. Luckily, I went back to do some more observations a different day. I will call this adventure finished. I know it was a little long, but it was necessary. Since this isn't a straightforward animal, I will call this painting finished. Thanks for going on this adventure with me. It means so much that you take time out of your schedules to discover something new by watching this video. As always, links are down in the description below where you can reach my store where you can buy a print or an original. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Remember, share your discoveries and adventures with a friend. I've been Brandon, and I will see you in our next adventure.